welcome back to Way of Yao. Now, as you may know, last week was my birthday, and I just want to thank everybody that wished me a happy birthday, whether it was in person or on social media. You mean the world to me. And as a result of that, I got a little bit of a present. I got this Morphe palette. This is the Picasso palette, and this is actually the look that I created using this palette. It's just a black box, you know, it says Morphe with the big red M. The ingredients on the back. And let's take a look inside of the box. This is what the palette looks like. So on the inside, we have a range of colours. These are all bold, vibrant colours. I don't know how well that's picking up on camera, but these are vibrant as fuck. Well. These are amazing. And if you know me, you know I like bold, bright, pinks, purples, greens and blues. I'm not too much a nudie type of bitch, but this is what I need in my life. And this is what has been slaying me through life, through death and through resurrection. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like the video. And if you're not already a part of the family, then girl, what is you? Girl, like, like really though, hit that subscribe button guys. And if you want to see how to achieve this look, then make sure to stay till the end and we shall slay together. So I'm going to start off by saying you will have to mind my backdrop. I know it is a little bit creased, but what can you do? And I'm going to prep my eyelids using the LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Medium Beige. I literally just take this over my entire lid and we are not trying to be stingy. You just want to go all out, honey. To blend it out, I'm just going to use any regular regular sponge. This one is damp. Always blend your concealers out with a damp sponge. Now to set that, I'm going to use this translucent powder from Collection and my Morphe M438 brush. We're going to go straight into the palette. And so I'm going to take my Morphe M514 fluffy brush and this very vibrant pink shade up here. I'm just going to be blending that into my crease and upwards. Now we're gonna go in with this deep purple. I'm gonna be taking my Kiko 211 eyes brush and I'm just gonna be packing it in my outer V. Going back in with the fluffy brush I used before, I'm gonna blend out the purple and the excess pink shadow on here is just gonna help to blend the two colors together. These are some pigmented shadows, yo. I am like living. Now I'm gonna go back into the palette using this navy blue shade and using the same 211 brush to pack it in my outer V. But this time round, I'm gonna use this sleek brush just to blend it out. This is a lot more dense and sturdy brush. Just gonna pack that right down below. More. And lastly, I'm gonna take a little bit of this black. With this pointy brush from Sleek, I'm gonna pop a little bit in the most outer part of my eye. Just in there. Just up in that bitch. Yes, queen. I'm gonna use this amazing eyeshadow from Topshop. You probably can't see it, but it changes color as you turn it. It's got like a purpley, blue iridescent feel to it like it is gorgeous and i love it i'm gonna put a couple drops of my mixing solution onto that just to make it a lot more easy to move i'm taking my kiko eyes 212 brush to apply that onto the lid i'm gonna take that dense brush again just to blend the shadows into that shimmery shade so i'm gonna be using the 305 and my Morphe M433 brush. I'm just gonna dust that under my brow and into the pink shade just to create that graduation. Now that I'm happy with the eyes, I'm gonna remove my tape and I'm gonna take a baby wipe just to remove any of the fallout. Now you guys know the drill, I have dehydrated skin so I'm gonna use my E45 lotion. 
Now for foundation, I'm going to be mixing the L'Oreal True Match foundation in the shade Espresso 10C 10R with my NYX Pro Foundation Mixer and to buff that into the skin, I'm going to be using the Morphe M439 Buffing Brush. Guys, my face and neck is pretty similar in terms of shade. However, they're not the same. And on that note, we are gonna be blending some of the foundation onto the neck because we're not trying to be a two-tone bitch. And if you watch my first tutorial, you will know that a two-tone bitch is when your neck and face do not match. It's not on, honey, you better blend. Even if it's a little bit, it makes a difference. It stops that line from looking as harsh as it would had you not have blended. Now for highlight, I'm going to be using the LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Dark Cocoa. Now I'm going to take this same sponge and I'm going to blend out that concealer. I always blend out the edges first. And now for contour, I'm going to be using the NYX Pro Foundation Mixer on its own with a foundation brush from Sleek. Now I'm going to take that same sponge and I'm going to use the other side of the sponge to blend out all of my contoured areas. And you guys know the drill, to add some extra brightness, I'm gonna be using this very light concealer, the medium beige. I'm gonna place that in the center of all of my highlighted areas. I am gonna set it all using the Ben Nye Turpaz powder. This is gonna to help to keep it bright throughout the whole day and you know, just lock it all in place. Now to set the center of my forehead, I'm gonna use this flat kabuki brush thingy from Sleek. To set the rest of my face, I'm gonna be using the Ben Nye translucent powder in the shade Ebony and my Morphe Y6 brush. This is a new brush of mine and it is gold. It is popping like my melanin. Now for contour, I'm going to be using the Flawless Chisel Cheeks Contour Kit by Barry M. And I'm going to be dipping into this dark brown shade over here. And to apply it, I'm going to use my MAC 133 brush. To cut the cheeks even further, I'm going to be taking this little sponge and I'm going to dip it inside of my ebony powder. I'm going to be using a little bit of a MAC tester. This is the loose pigment in the shade Tan. To apply it, I'm going to use my Morphe G23 brush. You guys know I live for a highlighted chin. Now to finish off the eyes, I'm gonna be using the NYX Jumbo Pencil in the color Milk. And I'm gonna be priming my lower lash line with this. I'm gonna smudge out that line a bit. And now going back into my purple shade from the palette. Now I'm going to take that navy blue shade and pass it on the outer part of the eye. I'm going to extend my inner corners using the NYX Extreme Liner. This is in the shade Extreme Gold. 
I think I need to be a little bit more contoured and for that I'm going to use Max Shadowy Lady. Now it's time for mascara. I'm going to use the Kiko Maxi Mod Mascara. For lashes, I'm going to be using the Remy Natural Lashes in the style 102. Now that my lashes and eyeliner are applied, it is time to move on to the lips. So for my lip highlight, I'm going to be using the Bella Pierre Loose Pigment. This is in the colour Celebration. And I'm just going to plaster this all over my top lip. And now to slay the lip, I'm going to be using the LA Splash Matte Liquid Lipstick in the shade Malevolent. While it dries, I'm just going to clean up around my lips. Now that the lips have dried, it is time to finish it off with a little bit of that Topshop eyeshadow that we used on the centre of our lids. So for a setting spray, I'm going to be using the Urban Decay Chilled Setting Spray. So I'm literally going to drown in this shit hunty. You better pray. Now while that dries, I like to highlight my chin even more. Guys, this is the final look. But wait. I'm not done yet. What is a queen without her jewels? So I'm gonna add this beautiful neck piece courtesy of my mother, this septum ring, and these gorgeous earrings. And we are ready to slay mama. Slaying the scene. Bye guys.